time. <clears throat> Evening, John. It's all working. And now, coming to you live from the place we call Chicago, WLS presents John Landecker and his job. One good thing leads to another. First of all, chairman of the Toys for Tots, 1976. And now it can be announced that I have been named as poster boy for your local currency exchange. Too proud. Tonight, please announce the world premiere of the new recording, Gary Mark Gilmore doing his brand new hit, Disco Death. Tonight on this station. I am waiting. Don't be nervous. Don't be rocky. You're a teenage. Guest is now. Remember, reach out teen, blown out parent and person of all persuasion. Anytime you dial, and might find yourself on. Looking check tonight. Here comes the hit machine. One of K-Town's greatest albums ever. Putting original hits. Original stars. Maxine Dyson. Yes, Mr. Dyson. Yes, Mr. Dyson. Yes. WLS Music Radio. From Chicago, I am John Landecker, and Records truly is my middle name. Words by Bruce Springsteen. This is Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Another runner through the night, blinded by the light. Uh, I'm in this studio six nights a week. Four nights, four hours each night from six to ten, doing this. WLS ELO and Living Thing from New World Record with John Records Land Decker chances to win tonight. Listen for the music radio touch tone at WLS. The schedule of a disc jockey at a radio station like this can vary from four hours and five minutes on an off day. You know, you come in five minutes before you go on the air, and uh, it can exaggerate itself all the way up to 12 hours a day if you have personal appearances or if you're involved in a charity or a variety of things. We have things like Team of the Week that I have to go to high schools for. Um, I'm the local chairman of Toys for Tots, and that requires that I go to uh, participating 7-Eleven stores because they're the financial backer of that charity. Um, so can, there's no one set... You've got to be here for four hours to do your show, but everything that happens around that can uh, be nothing or a lot. I first got interested in uh, going on the radio when I was in elementary school. And I uh, went to the local public library in my hometown of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and took out a book called This Is Your Announcer. And it uh, glamorized this profession indeed. And about this guy who went all over the world. And so I started my own radio station in my, at my desk at home and put call letters all over my uh, albums and put them on the record player and practiced, I guess. Didn't realize it at the time. It was just sort of a hobby. And uh, when I was in high school, instead of writing term papers, I would make term tapes. And one of those term tapes, which was for a political science project, I took to all the local radio stations. And I got the usual thing about how, uh, well, we can't give you a job because you don't have any experience, and of course you won't get an experience until you get a job, so it's like a vicious circle that you don't get to work. Until finally one guy, being benevolent beyond belief, said, uh, here kid, read this news on the air when the on the air light goes on. And that was the first time I went on the air, and I started working there as a janitor at $1.15 an hour because they didn't have they could not afford, you know, it was $65 a week for a full-time morning radio star. But I was only in high school, so it was, it got, it was a hobby. And I went to uh, Michigan State University and ma majored in um, communication arts. And, uh, but I was already working commercially. I learned how to be a disc jockey by uh, getting on the, on the air experience, which is, you know, the one thing that you really need to have. When I was at Michigan State, I uh, worked at a local station there, and while I was there, 
as a senior, I got a job offer from a big radio station in Philadelphia and uh, went there for three years before coming to Chicago. That was the first full-time radio job I had, was working in Philadelphia. Uh, I stayed there for three years and did all, all sorts of different shifts. I came uh, to Chicago after I worked three years in Philadelphia, and uh, I finally got a show in Philadelphia that was competitive as far as what time of the day it was on, and I picked up a few rating points, and word of that sort of spread through the... Uh, national radio grapevine or whatever it is and one day i was sitting at work in philadelphia and the phone rang and this guy goes hello john uh wls in chicago would you like to come work here and i said sure that sounds like a good idea and here i come but wait there's more <clears throat> That's so true. WLS at 9:27. With job records, linebacker headlines are open at 5913045. Anytime you dial, you might find yourself on Boogie Check tonight. Ringo Starr, and this is photographed. So, I sent them an audition tape and a uh, um, resume. That's the word. And I went on, went on vacation and left Philadelphia and went back to Ann Arbor, Michigan for Christmas. And I came back from some sort of function or other, and my parents said, you just had a phone call from um, Chicago, WLS. They want you to fly in for a job interview the next day, which I did. I came in, had a meeting here, took me to dinner. Want to come to work? Yes. Sign a contract. Wonderful. And uh, did. That easy. And that was almost five years ago. And I like it here a lot. It's really a, uh, a real nice big city. You know, it has sort of a cold San Francisco a little bit. Um, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, you can walk down, no matter what you hear, uh, you can still walk down the streets in Chicago at night and not get uh, your vitals ripped off. And uh, it's a nice place to be. This is a real good radio station. It's a radio station that lets you say things on the air. Um, I worked for people in Philadelphia that wouldn't wouldn't even think of letting me do a boogie check. You know, uh, are you kidding? You can't do that. But uh, they like personalities at WLS, and I think that's some one of the big reasons that people listen to the station is because they're going to hear something being said that they don't normally hear. LS is uh, not only as a personality station, but uh, technically is a 50,000 watt clear channel station, which means that. When the sun goes down, all other radio stations in the United States that are on our frequency, which is 89, all of them sign off, leaving us, for whatever it's worth, as the only station on the air in the United States at this frequency. The ionosphere cools off, the radio signals go up, they bounce down all over the country, and we go to 32 states, and I get calls from Florida and uh, Georgia, and they can. my program director was south of San Francisco and actually picked up the station on a car radio in California. So it goes everywhere. Uh, and, you know, lots and lots of people listen to it. So it's uh, sort of a unique situation. I think the exact number of people that it goes to is somewhere, I don't know, 6 million, 8 million, 9 million, or whatever it is. That is a very hard thing for me to visualize talking to, uh, you know, more than, it's very hard for me to visualize talking to more than one. I talk to the engineer, right? Don't I? Talk to the engineer, and I need L10 and 2. Okay? I mean, uh, you cannot think of talking to millions of people. It's, it's ridiculous. And you're, you're drilled from the beginning of radio to think about one-to-one -one communication. You know, relate to only one person and you're doing your job. If I like what I'm doing, then I like it. I don't care if the program director likes it particularly, if or if 5.8 million people like it. If I like what I'm doing, and the engineer hears what I'm doing, and the engineer is laughing or reacting to it, that's all of the relationship I need to do this. And now the gong of life. Hi, I'm John Landecker. If we ask the name of your favorite radio station, say WLS and win an electronic playground as we Join some muskrats in the act. Homemakers, not low price furniture, but good furniture at low prices. Homemakers.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and news fans everywhere. I'm John Landecker, and you're not. This is WLS Tuesday Night Live, and here are this evening's news updates. More than just a comrade in arms. It was divulged today, ladies and gentlemen, that Russian gymnast Olga Corbett may be getting married. Our spies saw Ogle by Ogle. <laughs> So Olga buy a $177 wedding dress at J.C. Penney in St. Louis. Question remains, of course, will Olga bend over backwards for her husband? Will she show him the same consideration as the uneven parallel bars? In other news this evening, sources close to the White House say the replacement of Henry Kissinger really stems from Jimmy Carter's desire to have Southern the only accent allowed in the White House. In other news of the presidential family, Jimmy's brother, Billy Carter, lost in his bid to be elected mayor of Plains, Georgia yesterday, making him somewhat of a Billy goat. Billy Carter was plagued by a protruding stomach and political headquarters in a gas station. In meeting with the press earlier today, the president, Jimmy Carter, described his brother's Campaign. Complicated and confused and overlapping and wasteful. Thank you, Mr. Carter. And now, finally, news from the land of showbiz. First of all, we had The Wizard of Oz, the book, the movie, Judy Garland, and The Yellow Brick Road. Now, we have progressed to the all black musical version, The Wiz. We have learned that Hollywood still has another version entitled Take a whiz. Dorothy and the Tin Man encounter difficulties in an Emerald City restroom. I'm John Landecker, and you're not. <laughs> WLS, I am John Landecker, and hopefully there is Mitchell Kazel of Chicago on the telephone. Hello, Mitchell. Hi there. Oh, hi there. Are you uh, ready to undo the combination to the WLS 7 Up safe? Sure am. Good. Correctly identify all three numbers in the combination, and you win the grand prize over $3,000 worth of the season's best albums and a year's supply of 7-Up. Correctly guess the first number or the first two numbers, and you win 89 albums and a year's supply of 7-Up. But you must guess the first number correctly before guessing the others. Mitchell. Yes. The numbers are between 1 and 100. What is your guess for the first number? 11. What did you say? Eleven. Let me attempt this on my combination of life. And sit. Mitchell. Yes. Are you sitting down? No, I'm standing. Well, I'm sitting down, sitting. Mitchell. Sit down. I am. Oh, good. You won. I did? Yes. You have You're kidding. John does not lie to his listeners. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. You have won 89 albums and a year's supply of 7-Up. I don't believe this. But. Let me get the right contest for him. What an amazing... 11 is... Thank you. Well, you're so welcome. 11 is the first number, Mitchell. I think every disc jockey who gets on the air... One of the reasons that they got on the air to begin with is uh, because they have an ego. And uh, probably to a certain extent, the uh, ego satisfaction is a little bit of this uh, job. Maybe a lot. Um, Making it better than it was. It's also a creative type job, um, if the radio station allows you to be creative, and this one does. So, if you like being creative, and, you know, that's something that you enjoy, that makes this job fun. Um, it's not a normal job, it is not a 9-to-5 job. I like that. I don't think I could work a 9-to-5 job. Uh, if it, you know, if it's not this, it's bagging groceries at Dominic's or something. You know, you like it, and, uh, the, well, yeah, there, there, are, there are some things that I dislike, too. I dislike the repetition of the music, somewhat. Um, songs that I have really loved, before we started playing them, have been sort of ruined by the time they were done, because we have a tendency to repeat songs over and over again. Second. Available at Carson's We Bolts at Marshall Field. There have been some tunes that have come down through the transmitter that have been... Uh, almost problems to me. and I hated them so much that it got to be a problem to even talk over them. Uh, the most recent example of that is Disco Duck. Uh, music for and by animals. Um, 
unbelievably dumb record. There was another one uh, called Seasons in the Sun, which I understand the words were done by uh, Rod McEwen. And it was all about how hard it was to die with the birdies in the sky. And uh, that was out at the same time as another one of the great classics, The Night Chicago Died, along with a remake of Last Kiss. I mean, they were all about death, and we used to play them together and call them the uh, Death Valley Countdown. I've worked at stations that didn't repeat music a lot, but then none of those stations did very well in the ratings. Um, so you give and take. When you uh, work at a radio station of this size, um, you do more than just stay on the air here doing your four-hour show. You also get involved in uh, what are known as PAs or personal appearances. Um, a lot of disc jockeys don't like that. I think it's somewhat of a necessity, and uh, it gets back to the fact that the... Uh, I believe that the radio station that proves to the community that it is in, that it is a part of that community, then that radio station will be listened to. And uh, making a personal appearance is one way of showing the community that you are involved in the community. Now, a personal appearance doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a paid personal appearance. It can be for charities, it can be for Toys for Tots, it can be a telethon, it can be a wide variety of things. Probably for a station of this size, Personal appearances that are of a charity nature are probably a lot more worthwhile. The FCC, Federal Communications Commission, says that the uh, airwaves are owned by the public. And you got to go meet the public. You know, they own you. WLS Music Radio and John Landecker with your chance to win tonight. Listen for the touch tone. A lot of people who listen to the radio have a misconception that disc jockeys are not human beings. Uh, or of the normal human persuasion, uh, but they are, and uh, I have two kids, and a wife, and family life, and working at night, six nights a week, with three or four weeks vacation a year, uh, can definitely cut into uh, family life. Going out, whatever, uh, Friday night on the air until 10, used to work Saturday night until 10, uh, you really have to get yourself organized a little bit. You have to uh, pick and choose what you want to do. And people who you consider friends have to understand that you're not available at the drop of a hat to go away for a weekend in San Francisco or, you know, hang out until 5 in the morning on Wednesday for some... for no reason, you know. John Landecker at WLS. Cloudy tonight, chance of snow flurries overnight, low 13. Tomorrow's high 32. WLS temperature 9, wind chill 15 below zero. You've got your demons, you've got your desires. Find out what turns you on tonight. Eagles at WLS. So I don't, I don't go out a lot. You know, I don't, uh, this is it. I go out to the radio station. Another night of uh, weekend fun at WLS. <laughs> uh, some people wonder if, this Jackies, I guess, have images uh, because you can't see us, right? I mean, you know, it's, uh, you're listening there at the other end of the radio, so therefore you create this own image of this guy who's got blonde hair, Stands about 6'5", weighs about 210, looks like a lo combination linebacker on Robert, Robert Redford. That's obviously my image, that's what I look like. Um, people also have accused me of being 55 years old. WLS Music Radio, Barry Manilow, and Weekend in New England with John Landegger playing the world's most beautiful music. Moving into the holidays. Um, also, you know, disc jockeys aren't supposed to be married, especially nighttime disc jockeys. Uh, I'm not supposed to be married. I'm not supposed to have any kids. Um, I've admitted on the air that I am married. I've had my kids on the air. And uh, I'm going to be 30 years old. And all of that. Whoops. There are eight bottom half locations in Chicago land, plus stores throughout mid America. Uh, I have, I've taken the position that I am not going to manufacture an image um, for myself as far as trying to be something other than I'm not. Um, I will make fun of current trends or fads or slang expressions. I will parody them, mock them, make fun of them, but I'm not going to make them me. And uh, uh, my kids have a bit of a problem. My oldest one is nine. and some of my winners are nine, and I know a lot of my listeners are nine, and she's faced with the problem of uh, having dad be dad and also dad be these 
this person that all her friends want to talk about being on the radio. And it's always a little bit embarrassing to her when I go to school uh, for a class function or something, a parent meeting, whatever, because the little kids are, pss, 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 that's John Landecker from WLS, and I have to acknowledge that. And she gets embarrassed and, you know, goes, Dad, Dad, I mean, you don't do that now. Don't be a disc jockey now. Don't say that stuff. You know, that's not, that's not good. Uh, uh, she became very upset about that kind of thing. Um, she go high, you know. Uh, 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 but she likes coming in here. The kids come in here, oh, maybe every other week or so. And they answer the phones and take requests, and the program director gets this list of songs the next day that's been written by the left hand of a seven-year-old, uh, which he can compare, of course, to his computer readout and see which is the clearest. Um, but my image is... Uh, I don't know. I think you get a better idea of what my image is uh, coming in here than uh, whatever you perceive on the air. Boogie Check is, I think, the main reason that people call the radio station. I think the program director thinks they call for the contests, but uh, our experience has been that most people are calling the line continually because we bill it that any time you call the number here at the radio station, you could be on it. And all those people are calling now, and they are going to be on it. <clears throat> hello, hello, testing, testing. Are we on? Good evening, boogie checkers, and a good evening to you. I am John Landecker, host and creator of the Boogie Check of Life. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. And you are kind. Good evening, Boogie Check. Good evening, John. Yes. Yes. Who does a vampire and a doorbell remind you of? Somebody with big... Oh, no. Who does a, a vampire and a doorbell? I have no idea. Well, John, it reminds you of Edith Bunker because she's the biggest ding bot. Let's both laugh at that, okay? One, two, two three. Ha, 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 ha. WLS Boogie Check. Boogie Check. Hello. That thou mayest bear thine own shame. That's right. You heard correctly, ladies and gentlemen. But by pressing this little number right here, this button, the great obscenity, the big F, is not upon the radio of life. Thank you very much. WLS Boogie Check. Hey, John. Yes. Are you going to be clean? Wait a minute. Are you going to be clean? Are you going to be a clean person? You bet I am. All right. I heard Lily Lutak wrote a new book. This is going to be clean, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, what book? You call this one Super Jack. That's right, okay. WLS Boogie Check. Good evening, John. Ah, yes. None other than the dulcet tones of Mr. C. Kidd. And pray tell, what brings you to the microphone? Or telephone? Two weeks from today, it's going to be a special day for me. Why? It always happens every two, uh, every uh, year. It's your birthday. No, not my birthday. I'm going to tell you in two weeks. From the today. anniversary of your catechism. Oh, um, it comes close. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I don't want to get too, uh... You're sure you're going to take it right now? No. It's a two weeks from now. What is it? It's the anniversary of me being on the boogie check for the first time. Truly. A plaque or a monument is uh, no, called I'll never for... forget that day. I ah, mean neither. It was a cold and wintry day in a deep and dark December. Yeah. Yeah, you were the rock and I was an island. I uh, say good night, kid. Night, guys. W.L.S. Boogie Check. Oh, John? Yes, I am, John. Hey, um, I uncovered a piece of paper on my momentous piles of paper on my desk. I discovered a thing that was written in 1972, and it said that y'all used to have a disc jockey named Bill Bailey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He went home. W.L.S. Boogie Check. Oh, uh, yeah, John. Yeah, you know I am. Why is Chicago is called the Windy City? The real reason why? Yes, I do, because of the politicians who used to have their conventions here in the early 1900s. Oh, no, really. That's it's... right. Hey, hey, I watched that special on Channel 2 about do you know the facts of the town? That's right. It is not due to the wind off the lake. It is due to the wind out of City Hall. What's your reaction to your new competition there on WMAQ until 7 o'clock? Oh, there's a new jock? Oh, you mean Fred? Yeah, Fred. That's old news. news. What do you think of that, Fred? Fred! <laughs> 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 He's better. <laughs> Waylon Jennings, I believe, is what he is. Boogie Jack. Boogie Jack. Yes, do you think 13 is unlucky? 
Well, only if you're uh, going out with somebody who's 17. WLS Boogie Check. Oh, John? Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know what say. Hey, well, you could work mornings here. WLS Boogie Check. Oh, yeah, John? Yeah. I just got a joke for you. What, what is, is it? it? Why did the boy step on his mother? What did a what? The boy step on his mother. Why did the boy step on his mother? Yeah. Because she was a sidewalk. No. <laughs> no. He wanted a step He wanted a mother. He wanted a stepmother. Oh, he wanted a stepmother. Yeah. Hey, great. WLS Boogie Check. No, not there. Boogie Check, hello. Hey, John, is it true you're going to be in Arlington Heights tomorrow? It, it is true I'm going to be in Arlington Heights tomorrow. What time? Because I want to see you. At 105 Central Road. Road. In Arlington Heights. Yeah, who's up there? Oh, do you go over to the 7-Eleven store regularly? What time are you going to be there? 3 o'clock. What time are you going to be there? What is this? 3 o'clock. Hello, Hello testing. 3 Engl o'clock? English language. Yes, 3. The one that's right. after 2. The one that's before 4. What are you going to come over and bring a toy? Am I going to be what? Groovin'. Groovin'. Yeah, you going to be real cool and everything? Hey, well, well you, you know, know that uh, Henry Winkler, the Fonz, is the national chairman of the Toys for Tots, right? right? Is he? Yeah, yeah and then they picked, picked me because they wanted somebody cool locally. Hey, that is cool. I got to really play something for all the uh, kids, you know? Right, right. 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 Well, well, you've, you've won. won. Guess what? You've won. won. Huh? What have I won? You, you won. won. What have, what have <laughs> I won? <laughs> okay, I won. Yes, we both agree. You have won the new Led Zeppelin album. The song remains the same. Yes. Who's clicking it on your line? I don't know. I don't have time to answer it. Oh, you oh, have two lines, lines in your home. Yeah, I know. Are you what is known as a contest pro? No, I got call waiting. See, because my dad gets a lot of calls, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. see whatever. Okay, 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 okay. forget it. it. But I can't now. Pretend I never asked the question. Guess what you, Guess have, what you have to do now. Uh, sing it away. Yes, but yes, you better give me your station ID because it's almost the top of the hour. You have to see WLS Chicago. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I have to provide an appropriate gong. What? I have to. I have to provide an appropriate gong. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. I'll provide the gong just like the real ID, right? And then you sing. And then you sing WLS Chicago after you hear the gong. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Stand by. Stand by. Music radio WLS Chicago. I am John Landecker. Records truly is from the thing. If we ask the name of your favorite radio station, say WLS. Win an electronic playground. The hobbies that I really meant to is uh, taking home movies, and I've uh, enrolled in uh, school to learn how to take real movies, and uh, more and more of my time is devoted to that. I've done a lot of thinking about, you know, what it is that I'm going to do after this is over. I mean, that is something that every disc jockey must face up to. Uh, I also have the possibilities of working a different shift, maybe be on in the afternoon, maybe be on in the morning. Uh, you do different things in those time periods. There are different types of shows. Um, there's programming, management. Programming and management, uh, I don't know about that. Um, I really don't think about it that much. I don't worry about it, but I got into the movies not because I felt I had to find a new profession, but because I liked it. And that's the same reason I got into radio. Not because I felt it was something that I had to do, but something that I like to do. And whatever it is that I do, I've got to like it or I won't do it. But once I stop really enjoying this, then I will not do this anymore. Book a check of life. Pardon? Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't speak to former president. WLS Boogie Check. I am John. Um, do you like people staring at you? Do I like people staring at me? Yeah. Oh, I love people staring at me. Oh. WLS Boogie Check. You John? Yes, I am John. Let's compare ideas. What's the biggest, ugliest thing you can think of within five seconds? WLS Boogie Check. What screen flies around in, in the kitchen? The biggest, ugliest thing I could think of in five seconds. WLS Boogie Check. So, hi, John. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. And how are you this fine evening in Chi Town? Oh, that's fine. Go ahead, go ahead. So, what do you think about the Walter Payton in first place? Oh, I think that's where he belongs. Do you think he'll be able to hold it there? Hold what? Where? Hold his seat. Oh, 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 sir. Yes, of course. So uh, far, he's currently up eight yards on Olympia, Jason. Well, I, I certainly hope he holds it there. Do you think he will be able to? <laughs> he's been practicing all year. <laughs> W.L. twice.